right now we are doing another Manta Toe. I think we might be on number 65 or so uh, that we've done in the past 11 days. And we'll, I think we might break 100 before we're done. We'll see. Um, and Manta Toes are the best way to measure the plastic that is floating on the surface. It's a net that skims along the surface of the water. So we, we put it out for 15 minutes, take the net in, and then see what collects in the end. Um, pretty much every single one of the Manta Toes since we got out into the gyre has had plastic. Um, and some of them have had really a lot of plastic of all sizes. The biggest one we've got in the toe is a piece of comb. And the smallest ones are like these little tiny crumb sized particles that you can't even really see, but you can, you can see them under the microscope or you could feel them like sort of crumble against your skin. So uh, this is our standard measure of how much plastic we're seeing out here. We think the small particles might be more damaging to the ecosystem than the large ones because a big bucket isn't really going to interact much with the animals that are out here. The animals are small, like the fish, most of the fish are maybe the size of your hand and the zooplankton is the size of your thumbnail and they don't have much to do with the bucket. But when you have these little tiny crumb sized particles, those animals are going to be able to ingest them or interact with them or grow on them or interact with bacteria that's growing on them and that will may potentially have a much greater effect on the animals that live out here. Uh, so we are actually far more concerned about these small particles than we are about the ugly large pieces like bottles and buckets.